Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a little video onto the channel, but I have been stupidly busy and I'm just about to let you know a little of what's been going on because I've said in the past that it's never really a good idea to let away your ideas too soon. But I've made no secret of the fact that I have been working a lot in audio at the moment. I've been pushing the podcast a bit. Well, not quite as much as I would have hoped to do with the newer stuff. But I have been concentrating on some of the older stuff. Now, I have got the, the setup ready here to go to uh, record a couple of the, the horror show podcasts tonight. Along with uh, maybe a few Star Trek podcasts. Uh, those two podcasts, if you don't know them, they're Skin Me Up Body, which is uh, the Star Trek podcast, or the science fiction podcast, I should say. And uh, Hellmouth Hotline is the, the horror podcast. So I have, over the last six months or so, I've noticed audio is... I don't want to say Trenton better than video, but it's definitely right now as far as the algorithm and whatnot's concerned it's definitely working a little bit better than video so if you haven't explored the option of a podcast up to this point i would highly recommend it for any of the content creators out there uh one of the podcasts that do is called uh the here's your otters vlogs and reviews podcast which is the most inspired name ever that's pretty much the podcast consists basically of the audio from this video i'll strip this off in the editor whenever i'm uploading this video and i'll put the audio file onto soundcloud i'm doing that with the review channel as well now i have noticed that podcast channel is sort of averaging out at about a thousand to maybe twelve hundred listens in a week which is pretty damn good but uh yeah but you probably already know that but what i have been doing over the last little while is you know even though that podcast is kicking off pretty well the science fiction one at the moment isn't the the horror one isn't doing too badly but I'm thinking to myself okay right these shows um, they're sitting on audio they're sitting on SoundCloud they're automatically transferred over onto iTunes you know I uploaded to SoundCloud it pretty much goes to every podcast provider on the face of the planet it's wonderful the way it works whenever you have it set up properly but um, the audio only shows being the horror podcast and the, the science fiction podcast isn't doing quite as well as the other one that's stripped from the videos so I was thinking I really should put up a video version of those two podcasts as well so I've actually started an extra two extra YouTube channels if you're interested in going over and supporting those you don't have to uh, I would uh, appreciate it if you maybe did go over and you know maybe have a look at them anyway the first of which is no sorry three new youtube channels i'm getting ahead of i'm f getting ahead of myself here there's three youtube channels now and uh one of them is coins age media podcasts and that is essentially and it's not drastic work that's been done on that channel it's essentially the audio file that you would get on soundcloud or itunes and as far as the video of that video goes it's pretty much the the thumbnail for the podcast so it's a youtube channel but it's an audio only youtube channel now that's not the sort of channel that i'm thinking okay this is gonna be massive it's gonna you know crack the code of everything I'm pretty much thinking that if someone comes across the podcasts, so all three of them, 
Here's Otter's Vlogs and Reviews podcast. Scheme me up body. Hell my and They're all going on to that channel. Um, if somebody comes across them on YouTube, you know, a lot of people, I wouldn't. A lot of people wouldn't sit and watch a video that's pretty much just a thumbnail and audio. I'm not expecting people to. What I'm thinking is, you know, there's a higher chance of these probably have been found on YouTube than on the podcast channel. So if someone finds them on YouTube, it might bounce them across to iTunes or SoundCloud and that sort of thing. So that's the idea. So I've been through all my older stuff. I tend to, if I record stuff, and I will put it on an external hard drive just to have it. You know, if I've ever needed a file somewhere down the road, it's sitting on an audio on an audio it's sitting on an external hard drive at any point I need it so I've tended to do that from the start so I've been going through over the last two or three weeks and again the newer stuff right here has been suffering because of it but I've been uploading to that channel steady so any love you can give to it would be amazing um, the other two YouTube channels is Here's Rodders TV and this channel is a random little channel. It's just, I haven't done much with it so far. But uh, I do some stories on Instagram and Facebook and that sort of thing. Little reels and whatnot. And I was kind of thinking, you know, you stick something on the stories on Instagram and whatnot. It sits there for, what, a 24 hour period, then it disappears. So I'm thinking, if it creates something, you know, kind of original there, I'll just upload it to this other channel. So you get, on Here's Otters TV, you could get anything, like vertical video instead of, you know, this sort of deal. And, uh, yeah, so that's what that channel's kind of for. And, uh, you know, it's, it, there's a possibility that that might work. But uh, you never do know unless you try these sorts of things. The final channel that I started, and it's something that I've been toying with for a long time. If you've been on this channel for any length of time, you've known that I have had a bit of a weird history with the whole short film content that I've made back in the past. And I had it on YouTube. I took it off YouTube. When it the rules and everything started changing I was kind of like you know oh could this be damaging to my channel to have this sort of content on here it's a tough one to work out these days it really really is but I started a YouTube channel simply called Coins Age Media and it's basically just the home for the short film content and it's sitting right there to check out um, so uh most of you guys maybe have seen the six little short films that I made. Like, I'm 100% self-taught. And uh, you can see the evolution in that. If you go and watch the oldest one first up to the newest one, you can see the improvement in my style as I go. So uh, that channel has... It's one of these things where... I've got a few things I've planned for further down the road for whenever I start getting a little I don't want to use the term whenever I start getting a little bit bigger but it is what it is you start to create content you kind of hope that these channels are going to go somewhere and perhaps um, it's not impossible like my old YouTube channel paid for the tax and insurance of my car for a single year before I rebranded and closed it down um another decision that people have looked at me and like is it, what the heck is wrong with you why did you do that sort of thing but there is a method to my madness but it's it's just a matter of testing stuff these days to see what happens and uh right now how many channels am i actually running on youtube right now you have this channel the vlog channel you've got the review channel you have <laughs> coins age media you have Here's Rodders TV and you have uh, Coins Age Media Podcast. Five different channels. You don't have to get over there and subscribe to those channels. If you're following me on the vlog channel, I love you to pieces. 
fantastic you're all legends class but um definitely consider checking them out and sharing them along to somebody that you think might be interested in the channels but uh you know the that little channel with the the short films on it i'm thinking at some point i may when the time comes i do have a patreon at this point there are no one on it <laughs> there is no one on it no one cares no one gives a crap but it's there and i might have well i'm actually sitting on the mess load of content that i can put up for like bonus content which may go to the the coins age media channel be all private videos up on the background patrons will be able to see them and whatnot but again it's the sort of stuff that i'm not a hundred percent sure it would do it would work positively towards a channel like this the vlog channel even though there are videos that are up there and you don't see them the the computer learning at this point is picking up stuff so easily it's just it's really weird it's a weird time to be alive and be a creator but it is what it is so that's what i've been doing along with some other stuff but we will get into that in upcoming videos but i just wanted to jump on give you a little update on where i've been at and what i've been doing and i've been kind of spinning my wheels but productive enough and you know trying to get that little bit of free promotion off youtube to jump over to the audio podcast it's it's that again there's a method to the madness and i'm still trying to work this stuff out i've been doing it for a long time now i am by no stretch of the imagination a professional or know what i'm doing but i do try my hardest to uh try new things and that's what i've been doing so uh yeah big love guys and i will talk to you on the next one